Hi Nigel, thanks for asking me to create this little video for you. Um, I'm Ellen from 67, as you know, and we help businesses with big ideas um, to make an impact and get noticed through the power and magic of PR, marketing and events. Um, and I've been a, an expert with Bulbul for quite some time now. Now I've watched you build the business up and build the software and it's really exciting to be part of it. Um, so I'm gonna go straight to your questions, which you've, I've got here. And the first one is, why did I want to be a Bulbul expert? Well, that's really easy to answer because at 67, we want to help people. We love helping people. Um, we want, people, want to encourage businesses to do their own PR and marketing and take the helm and bask in their own glory. Um, as a business owner, you're the best person to do your PR because you know your business better than anyone else. So why would you trust anyone else with it, with your reputation, which is your biggest asset? Um, and it's also, you can, you can do it effectively on a shoestring, so why would you pay anyone else to do it? Um, so that's where what we're all about and that's what we want to help the Bulbul clients with to encourage them to blow their own trumpets, take the helm and bask in their own glory. Um, so the next question, best piece of business advice and who was it from? I'm not good at taking advice. Um, I think it's great to brainstorm and bounce ideas off people, um, but I do like to make my own rules. Um, I'm a bit of a rule breaker and uh, I'll even break my own rules sometimes. But um, I'm not a huge one for business books, but I did read one which I do want to mention because it was absolutely brilliant, and that is this one. Business for Punks, it's the Brewdog Guys, and they actually have a chapter on advice, the title of which is Be a Selfish Bastard and Ignore Advice. Love it. Um, but basically they're saying the thing about being driven is that you need to know your own way, and I truly believe that follow your gut instinct. Um, biggest compliment you've ever received from a customer? It's got to be repeat business or recommendations and referrals. Um, flattery and nice words are great to hear, yeah, that they're lovely, but the best compliment is when someone recommends you to somebody else um, or comes back um, for yeah, repeat business. That's the, the only compliment I'm interested in, really. Um, and the next question, business achievement you're most proud of? Um, I think it's the fact that I've been in business, I've managed to survive for eight years. I set 67 up in 2013, I'm still here. I've survived the pandemic, which has had very scary moments, particularly because um, a lot of my work is in events and that obviously disappeared, fell off a cliff. But I've managed to keep it going and um, survived, um, survived the whole eight years. And also, because of the pandemic, I've set up a second business, which is a joint venture. I'm collaborating with someone else, um, which has probably come about because we've worked together quite a lot, lot over the last few months so it, that may be down to the pandemic as well but yeah I'm really proud of that um, now then you've also asked me select three questions from the list below and provide an answer and so I have selected three questions the first one is new talent or skill acquired during lockdown that's got to be the podcast that I created called The Events Insight um, with a fellow uh, acquaintance in the events industry, someone, a guy I've been working with for some time now. And we set up the podcast about six months ago um, to shine a positive light on the industry, not to say anything about the, the pandemic, but keep things positive, encourage people to stick with the industry because we know it's going to come out the other end. In fact, the signs are there now. Um, and to help event grads and students who may be doing an events management course and starting to think, oh God, what am I doing? So yeah, it's it's great. We've had loads of guests on from all over the world. We're downloaded now in, I think we've been downloaded in all six continents. So we're really enjoying doing it. Um, it's something I'd never thought of doing before, um, but I'm loving it. So yeah, that's my, my new talent or skill. Um, what would you banish to room 101? I'm gonna keep this relevant. Um, I'm gonna, it's gonna be all about words, overused and misused words that drive me mad. Um, things like, th words that are overused or misused a lot in business are passionate and authentic. So many people will stand up in a sales pitch and say, yeah, I'm passionate about my business. Um, really? You know, do they really mean that? I don't know, I'm never convinced. Passionate, authentic or overused. Um, so yeah, they, I'm very wary of those. And my biggest buzz, bugbear, buzzbear? I don't even know how to use the words. My biggest bugbear is when people say less rather than fewer. It's not less people, it's fewer people, okay? Remember that. Um, last 
last one, favourite holiday location would have to be French Polynesia and I haven't even been there yet. Um, it's top of my bucket list, it probably has a lot to do with the fact that um, Dr Doolittle was from there so it stems from being a kid but it's always been my dream holiday um, and as soon as I've earned enough money because it's quite expensive to get there I am going to French Polynesia. Finally Nigel, you have asked me a bit of a quick fire type question around here. Um, some bullet points you give me option to, th to act to choose three of those um, so here they here goes new home or character property character property all the way um, I love them I live in one at the moment and I'm also uh, we're on the market looking to buy a new one so yeah character property definitely zoom or face to face oh, face to face all the way I am so done with zoom thank you um, and saint or sinner well, my friends will know if I say saint, then I'm lying. So yeah, I'm going to have to go with Sinner. So thanks, Nigel. Um, I hope this video is okay for you. Um, all the best with Bauble. You're doing a great job. It's a great uh, tool and solution for businesses. So I'll see you soon. Bye.